Okay, so this area, pretty exciting looking. Looks like there's at least one exit up that way, one exit down this way, and one exit over that way. So maybe this will be like a three area act. Um, I'm gonna pick up this side quest in town. Let's we'll see if uh, anything else has changed. Max enchants two on the enchanter. Okay, so there's a little raccoon that wants the flesh of the living, so it's kind of scary. Where's the banks? There's the banks. There's going to be an Ewok forest, isn't it? Probably. to recover my misplaced gems. You picked up the uh, main quest. Best? No. I wish you'd gotten here sooner. The alchemist came through here about an hour ago. He made ways to the camp, and then he went through the great door there and sealed it shut behind him. We believe that door leads to the clockwork core. We haven't been able to open it ourselves, but we know how in theory. See that dwarven automaton? It's designed to open the door, but it's missing its power source. Should be one in the scrap works, but it was too dangerous for us to enter. Perhaps you will have more luck. You have a new. Alright, I got it now. I'm just gonna. Are you nearby? Yeah, there you are. Check this out. I've got almost the entirety of another complete set. I was just gonna equip it now. Oh. As soon as I equipped the first piece, I couldn't equip the weapon. Rest, so uh, maybe I'll try equipping it in another order. <laughs> nope, still takes off all my gear. <laughs> Done. Oh, I didn't try one of the other bits with the whole set. God no. Yeah, that gets confusing. I can't actually put all of that on in any any way. Excellent. Uh, where did you say the chests were? Where did you say what was? The chests were. Oh, down south. Down south. Ready now, so yeah, let's go. Right, give me two seconds. Okay. Looks like we're in the ghost lands. Got a torso. Me too. Excellent.
Ah. Uh, throw the care. Man down. I think that's the quickest I've died after entering a zone. I don't know what that was, but I have the desire to shoot it. It's emitting those. We've got spores from Ragnarok Online again. Or Fantasia. This is how they're making their, their western uh, game very, very fresh. They're using Korean ideas. Well, yeah, that does seem to be a lot more than just skeletons in the game. And the same thing with, like, uh, Titan's Quest, you know, we were fighting, admittedly, one too many satyrs, but still, Greek enemies that were a little bit different. Yeah. I knew those mushrooms were gonna turn into mushroom monsters. So I walled them in for you. Couple 40. Congratulations. I should probably stop pulling stuff. Probably. More healing for the healing bot. And more mana for the healing bot. Blood god? Oh, right, okay. We're not doing that. A Warhammer thing. That one doing a Warhammer thing? Just reading down my skill. So many zombies. Some of them perhaps enemy zombies. At first I was very. the purple summons, but now I'm like, this is very helpful during massive fights to very easily be able to see what's on your side. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Didn't even wait to see if he was a friend or foe. Just <laughs> blasted the hell out of him. He's on this map and the other little request point. He dies. You want to just go for this? Yep. I might call it for the night after we've done this. Ooh, that's poison. Careful as you enter. Nature's going ape in this place. Wow, so much so I so much went down to nothing there. I'm dead. I was trying out something that was on the tooltip. The tooltip said uh, if you hold control it works like shift. Um but you'll only cast something or perform an action you know, if you're left clicking while control clicking if there's an enemy there so rather than just blasting nothing for hours on end you'll, you'll have the stationary rotation thing but you'll only fire mm. if there's something to fire at kind of interesting kind of pointless if you ask me I think shift is perfectly fine well... Devil Ring, look out! He ain't that tough. Not enough now Master Ring. <laughs> Very hard to see the enemies here. This is a Technicolored show of something. Just like all these zombies. I love it. It's doing it for me. Yeah. I have almost this many pets on Guild Wars 2. 
No, Guild Wars 2. I haven't played that in ages. Maybe you're going anywhere. Maybe you're ready to get back into it now that you've had a nice refresher break. We did play a lot of it on release. Yeah. And I'm still into it. This is this is not about me, this conversation. I'm probably gonna play it again at some point, but I'm kinda I could go into that, or I could do more torchlight. Or I could do borderlands. So it's and very in four days' time castle crashes. That um you know what everyone would say that they wanted in the game is the same good experience at level 1 at level 80, but it's it's so weird. You are literally playing the same game at level 1 as you are at level 80 on that, so it's... Yeah. There's, there's something missing, like the feeling of progression. Ah, oh, there's purple floor. Purple's normally friendly, and then that purple was not. I wouldn't call Guild Wars a bad game in any way, um, but I don't, I'm not a fan of the dungeons, and uh, that's kind of it, really. And a lot of the time I'm like, well, I'm not interested in end game progression or anything like that in Guild Wars, but I am into the story. And you get some of the story from doing the dungeons. Bit crap. Well admittedly not much. Just though that's no. a team of four weenies bitching at each other. Or five <laughs> or six. Did you call me a poopy head? I'm leaving. You can defeat the evil people by yourself. Yeah. And go talk to Mark Queen. Such a strop that he leaves in. If this doesn't go anywhere, there's an up way over here. Queen, I don't think you should go with him. Look, I'm gonna go screw this guy, Logan. <laughs> You're and, a screw guy. <laughs> and and you can just go away. But Queenie, God, you're such a bastard. I mean, that's that's what it came off like to me that she just wanted to screw the guy, and Logan was just trying to cock block. Perhaps. Have he ain't no alpha. That... Logan and his awkward advances to the Queen. On the other hand, Ritlock is basically just an asshole. Uncompromisingly so. Yeah. And uh, Zoja is just a bitch. That was interesting because Zoja was never really like that in the personal story. I mean, she was yeah. a bitch, but she wasn't like I'm gonna go over there and be an asshole to them. I'm going to try to reconcile, and then immediately, like the only thing out of her mouth during the entire confrontation is like, "Hey, fuck you, guy." You're all stupid and I'm better off without you all. Yeah. And then on the Azura personal story, if you talk to her afterwards, um, well, when you talk to her afterwards, she goes, ah, they're all a bunch of assholes. It's just a bit silly. While on the other hand, the Norn and the Salad people, Air, Era and the other person, they're just like picture-perfect wonder children or some shit. If you do the I'm personal not. story with the, with the Norn one, she keeps on going on about how she's a failure non-stop. She doesn't shut up about it. <laughs> well, at least it's not even subtle. That's, that's what she says the entire time. You just die and turn around and say, yes, you're a failure. God damn it, shut up. Exactly. Quit infecting me with your failure genes. There's a lot of multicolored crap down there. Yeah, I actually got my pet has fled message for the first time in absolutely ages from from him running down there. He was trying to be a hero. You should never try to be a hero. I'm torso powering out. I'm gonna re-torso. Didn't have any more torso. I don't know what turn my sp oh, he's a spider now. Because why yeah, not? For those who haven't played any Guild Wars or watched any of my videos, none of that last bit will make any sense to them. <laughs> nah, well... I don't play Guild Wars. A lot of people play Guild Wars. Because it's, like, popular and shit. Right, we're going down a level. I think that was it. It's just circles back. 
What about all the down, uh, down here, where this guy is? Oh yeah. I didn't go right on forever, but see. something. But words and shit. Put the poison. Oh, hey, hey. I wonder if that brute was ever going to acknowledge our existence. Yeah. Just stand there and took it. So long as we stay out of the big AOE fuck off poison clouds, care is pretty okay. I think I just got a new uh, healing thing. Oh no, I'm now just getting huge health potions. Definitely seem to be a bit ahead on the health potion thing. Yeah, I don't think even a fully fit character with nothing but health items could even have as much health as they want you to have from these potions. Yeah. But even if you don't use the whole potion, I suppose the speed at which you get to full health has improved with the better potion rank, so no harm yeah. done. I actually haven't come across any bosses yet. Yeah. Or champions, whatever they want to be called. Well, I haven't rehosted since we started playing, so we're still definitely on the, the good difficulty. Whoa. No. So yeah, that's a mushroom on his head then. Part of his disguise. I do like those fire pillars because they seek things out. It just tend to vaporize one mob if it's on the screen. It just spreads out and defends me from the back of theirs. Oh, damn! Looking at the loot, not at the poison. But yes, fire pillar is good because it hunts things down. Indeed. So what was that purple thing? Oh, an ember shard. <laughs> of course, of course. Need a bit more focus before I can actually wear my uh, gear without needing my granite boots. Although at next level, I'm also going to be high enough level to level, level, wear them by level. We got there in the end. That's all that mattered. Insufficient mana. I'm a bit tired. Some of us have been up for at least a few hours. Yeah, me. I have no idea how long I've been awake for. I can't remember that far back in time. Been doing too much. I'm just crack. sort out. I'm gonna sort out my inventory. A lot of whites, so it'll only take like five seconds. Woods. You know, this direction has gone on for freaking miles. Yeah. It's 
wonder if there's like a secret up here on this platform. It seems like a bit of a nothing platform. No, I guess not. You call it a nothing platform. Probably right proud of what it is. Well, it shouldn't be. It's done nothing with this line. Just like me. Yep. Don't you fucking explode near me, you lucky bastards. Hey, I just saw the um, bunch of poison things, poison, <sighs> poison bolts, you have done going balls. after me. Um, oh, there's a boss. And a uh, bunch of poison bolts going after me, and a few of them hit me, and one of them just pinged off me with a nice ping. So is the reflection thing working? Oh, yeah. First time I've actually kind of noticed. I've had a few items with Reflect on so far, so yeah. Seen it a little bit. I think this is the. F I think I only just got one last act. So did you back off from that boss before, or...? Well, no, so I was kind of killing it before I realised you were dead. I don't think you dropped any loot for me, because I was too far off. And of course there's probably a little bit of fame that you had and all that crap. Yeah, if it's anything to go by, probably about 500 fame. Would be the going rate for a boss. Sucks. Guess you'll just have to deal with it. I love that you've got all these critters on the ground, and when you run them over, they you know, explode in a big puff of blood. And I'm like, what kind of person does that? If I see a little critter on the ground, I kind of just step over it. I'm pretty sure that tooltip on the loading screen just told me that the pet can now use items, basic items, like potions and things. So I just put a load of potions on my pet. Then rather than running away, hopefully he'll use one and... It does have an Im it does have a tab, pet consumable inventory. I'm actually going to give him some of the pet foods, but I'm, I'm assuming he can't just use them on himself. But maybe. I'm going to give him a bunch of jackal bass and see if he uses them. He's using the life steal because he just cast it just a second ago. <laughs> Wicked. But yeah, I'm almost certain. Although it wasn't up there for long, that tooltip said they can use potions, so I'm I'm really thinking they can. I gave him a few potions. Hmm. Either the tooltip didn't come up or I don't think I got any fame for that. It might not be worth any, I suppose. I definitely think my pet is using the uh, potions. He was regenerating health and combat at a rather impressive rate. Yeah, cool. Because I'm not used to AI in games being able to do anything decent, I just it never occurred to me. Not enough 
Oh, down I go. I got to jump on by poison spores. Sure did. I don't think I had my healing bot up. I was gonna say, how the hell did you get back here so quick? But of course, the moment that you died, we were actually on a different floor where you can spawn at the beginning of the, the floor. Damn it. I die yep. loads of times when there's a million mile around and you're just fine. Because I'm mad skilled. MLG Pro at this game. I suppose you could always just count the amount of potions in your pet's inventory, by the way, if you wanted to test if he's been using them. That require remembering how many he's carrying at the moment. And I'm made of thoughts. Oh shit. Oh, he didn't like us doing that. You're attacking my shoulder sphincters. Awful. Yes, awful. What they are, they look like shoulder. Or, or they look like. I don't know what. Sphincters as well, they are. Look at that pretty poison rain. Oh, God, there's a lot of awful monsters around here. And ain't none of them after me. Maybe one might have attacked me just now. So I am kind of AoE raping everything. Oh, shit. Drawn a chest. The time for that. Find the boss. Ah, oh, locked. Level 41. Died because I saw my charge bar was ready and you get the 30% extra damage, so I thought, well, I have to use that. Stopped and channeled a really long spell, <laughs> got smacked on the head. Damn. Oh, and then I died. And I died because I was stupidly using my melee weapon against those poison fuckers. He hasn't re engaged uh, since I got back in, so I can actually kind of wait here and wait for you. Excellent. I wouldn't do the same. No. Every man for himself. Yeah. Let's go. Don't forget to use the old lightning ball on this fight, so... I'm gonna fix that starting now. So much damage. Bo -bo -bo Boom! I knew I was missing something. Such a great oh, spell when they stand still. And a golden key. Which is probably for this. Yeah. Nope. Wow, it dropped two items. Ah, but those items, man, those items... are... weird. Oh, we got a sack. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Um, wear this around your neck if you don't mind the slime. He had a very slimy sack. Just, you know, you can wear them around your neck if you don't mind. It's just, even that beginning bit. So, uh, yeah, I got the granite gloves. I know you weren't collecting too much of the granite set, but I don't know if nah. you just got crappy gloves and maybe... Uh, my gloves are... Um, uh, my gloves are part of another set, which I'm wearing. Fair enough. And the other item he dropped for me is a claw weapons. Uh, the weapon that was terrible, so a lot yeah, of no good. the junk. <laughs> to the surface. Can't make it out there no more, boss. But I've been in there for 15 minutes. 
Oh yeah, I guess I'll be okay. We hope you enjoyed this playthrough part, and watched it in 720p. Almost all of this page is interactable, linking to subscribe, the channel page, and the previous and next videos. Here are a few seconds to click to your destination.